Hi, Clay of Insider Studios. In today's video, I'm going to be highlighting the backup of your Windows operating system. So let's get this started. Now before we get this going, I just wanted to point out that in the previous video I did, I went over de-bloating and removing the garbage from Windows 10 itself, and you can find that up in this corner over here. And that any of the files required for this to actually be completed will be linked in the description below for your convenience. So let's get going. So Windows 10 is installed, and now you've removed all of the garbage that you could off of the actual operating system that comes with it when you do the installation. Now it's time to get this whole system backed up, just in case something happens in the future, say a disk fails or the whole system itself gets corrupted. That way you will not have to do a full reinstall of Windows 10 and you'll be able to just restore it from this and get up and running immediately. And in order to get this started, we're going to be needing the program Mac and Reflect. You can use the free edition linked in the description below. Once you download it and get it installed, go ahead and open it up. And the first thing you're going to definitely notice is it lists all of your disks and the different partitions that are inside those disks on your system. Now we're going to be focusing on just getting the whole primary operating system itself backed up. So you're going to go to the left side and go to Image Selected Disks. Once you select that, it'll open up another window showing the different disks and partitions again. And we're going to be looking for the system reserved, the C drive, and the unmarked 500 megabyte NTFS primary drive that it should be there along with it. You primarily want the system reserved and the C drive. The C drive is the operating system itself, and the system reserved is actually the boot partition, which if you do not have that, you will not be able to boot within to your actual Windows operating system itself. So if those are the only ones you want, make sure to deselect any other partitions that are on that disk itself, then go down and unselect the other disks as well by unmarking the check marks on the left side. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is select which folder you're going to be putting it in. So go ahead and click the three dots next to the folder and find where you want to put it. Now it's either on a hard disk or of course an external or whatnot. Just go ahead and select it on there and I recommend making a folder that is marked like Windows Backup or something and just make sure to put it right in there. And then you could actually just select finish there and just continue on from that but I'm personally going to go through several other options. First off is to actually have a custom name for it, so don't have it automatically name the file itself, uncheck that mark, and then go down and label it, like put down the date, then put down like Windows 10 space fresh install. And you know, that way you know in the future when you look at it, it was the fresh install of Windows 10. Then I highly recommend going to the advanced options under the compression tab, which it should actually go right up into there, and if it's not, it's on the left side, go ahead and select it, and change the compression level from medium to high. This way it'll save as much space on your system itself. With that done, hit OK, then click Finish. And then it'll bring up another actual small window, and it'll ask if you want to run the backup now, which of course, yes, that's what you want to do. And then if you want to save an actual XML file, so if you want to do incremental backups in the future, but we're not focused on that right now, we're just doing the primary. So unselect that check mark, then click OK and let it run on through and do the backup. Now once that backup is done, it'll alert you, click OK. And we're not quite finished yet, because what if something happens to your system? You can't access that backup from inside the actual computer. So what you're going to do is go to other tasks and click on create rescue media. There are several different options in here, including one that will allow you to actually boot into a Macrium personal edition for Windows to restore a backup if you boot the computer and it can have that option put directly in there if you so choose. I do not recommend this option for the primary reason that if something happens to your system and it becomes corrupted, you will not be able to access it. So we're going to be going the USB route. So go ahead and click on for the USB media and just click OK. It'll go on through and it should just set it up. There may be several other options it'll present you with, like it may need to download files. So just go ahead and read the thing, make sure it's talking about that and just have it download those files and it'll go through and get it set up. Once that is done, go ahead and reboot your system and have it boot into the USB drive just to verify that it works. 
Once you verify that it works, then congratulations, you got it all done. You got it all done. Obviously, we're not quite done yet. I still haven't shown you how to do the actual restore of the operating system itself, but that'll come in the next video. So, this will be a three-parter. The first one, obviously, is here being the actual backup of the primary Windows 10 operating system itself. The second one will be going through the USB drive on the thing on it to how to restore the actual operating system. And then the third one will be using a completely separate program to back up personal files and such separately from the operating system and have it automatically do it for you. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you liked what you saw here, hit that subscribe button and I hope you come back for more. Have a good day.